You are a wonderful armchair and you are very useful today. Friends, breaking news. The Grayscale team is hiring an ETF person. Grayscale, this has been posted 16 minutes ago. I am bringing it to you live because you are my friend. You've got very pointy elbows. You've got straight back, nice posture. We're going to go through it right now. Grayscale is known to be a retailer grift. Friends, I know you love all this. <laughs> We're here to have fun, friends. Like, subscribe, and all. I'm here to bring you good news, but also I will not shy away from telling you exactly what's going on. Yes, absolute garbage product. But hey, let's look at the good news. So if you go to Google and type in GBTC space discount, the first result should be Yahoo Charts. And you'll be able to see what's going on here, friends. You'll be able to see the discount of the GBTC over time. This is the Grayscale product. Don't forget, the Grayscale product has about 140,000 Bitcoin, 140,000 BTC sitting there, but it can't be redeemed. It just sits there, all right? That's what's been going on. Now, it just sits there and you better you get a, an imaginary claim on the share. During the depths of 2022, it hit minus 48.9%. Wow. So that means when Bitcoin's price was around 16,000, yeah, this was about $8,000. That's $8,000, $9,000. So it really, really was shocking to see that. The gap is slowly starting to close. It's about minus 25.9%. Now, just my hunch, I feel like we're going to get a gap towards 0% and then the bull market's actually going to like the real excitement's going to happen. Because think about it. If you wanted Bitcoin exposure, spot exposure without leverage, why would you go and buy the expensive one if you could just buy the Wall Street fake encapsulated Bitcoin on Grayscale? So that's something to think about. But this news, I'm bringing it to you live because I'm just showing you, friends, Yes, there is world turmoil. Yes, we've had the fires. Yes, we've got these weird political agendas going out there. But at the end of the day, we are still marching forward. And of course, you know, yeah, I want the prices to be higher too. But we're looking at these monthly candles and yeah, BlackRock, yeah, they're ETF, the, um, they're, they're Trojan horses. We understand that, but we're going to march on. We're still marching forward. So GBTC, the discount's beautiful. It's down to minus 25-ish percent. Hopefully, it can get down to minus 20%. Nice psychological number. For it to keep going. We need it to really close, by the way. We need it to really close. So this hiring is a sign that they're doing something in the background. They've got either somebody who might buy them out. Something's going on, okay? And trust me, friends. Look, you don't even need to trust me. I'll tell you right now. It, they don't even need to do an ETF. They just need someone big to think they're worthy of an ETF because then they can get bought out. Now, we all know that Gaza, Gary Gensler, the semen demon, Gazla him, the Gazla himself, he is going to probably favor BlackRock. It doesn't matter how politically good or bad it looks like. I hope he favors someone else, but we know what the game is happening right in front of our eyes. And in the midst of this turmoil, I'm seeing, you know, Crypto Banter. Shout out to Crypto Banter crew. Everybody who watches them. They're very bearish, okay? And by the way, Crypto Banter, Ran is getting pretty good at reading signals. He is not as effective as a top and bottom signal anymore. Years ago, he was. So he, he's he's gotten smart and he's learned. So this is part of my edge, friends. I'm here. This is why you watch my content. I, I'm I'm watching everybody grow as a market participant. So that's why I, I know when someone's a real signal. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you to you all the time because I don't want them to be fooled. I, I want us to have that knowledge. But I'll tell you right now, Ran is unfortunately losing his effectiveness. I'll tell you when I see people lose their effectiveness over time because they're getting too smart. They're getting they're getting more wise. They're understanding, oh, there's bulls and there's bears, there's ups and there's downs. And they're starting to learn that when they they know themselves, when they see euphoria and they're euphoric, they're like, oh, something bad is about to happen, right? So they're starting to learn. There's just something you might reflect the average participant, right? Now, don't forget, right? BlackRock is a Trojan horse. Don't forget this clip that was played, right? Remember this clip, you know? This person talking about, you know, BlackRock, the hedge funds, BlackRock, the banks, they run the world. So this guy, I think he got fired. He's just some of these little weed pencil neck twink dude working for him. Of course, like you got to read between the lines, friends. Clearly, this dude, Sergi Serge, all right, he's a little recruiter. He obviously, when you get into the system, he learned from the higher ups. He learned from the shadowers in the, in the alleyways, right? He learned how the game really works. That's why he's in BlackRock himself. He's not stupid. He knows. That's why as soon as they like let go of him, they moved him out, they go, well, you know, we don't know what he's talking about. Of course, man. Just like how all of us are on Twitter, YouTube, we know what's going on in the industry. This person does too, right? Now, it'd be very interesting to see 
what he ends up doing. I mean, I would love for somebody to come and interview this dude. I mean, oh, you know, actually, it'd probably be better if someone did not interview him because it'd be very unfortunate if he slipped up the wrong words because, man, you don't want to get on the BlackRock bad side. And also, we have a comment here from Sir David James, also appreciating you every day. Look at this. The Coinbase Futures permission is the BlackRock ETF. Yes, Davey is 100% correct because... Coinbase futures are going to be the conduit, the routing for how the ETF comes in. They're going to use the leverage, friends. Trust me on this. Friends, I know what's happening, okay? You can see it. You can smell it. Keep your back straight, please. Please keep your back straight, friends. Look at this vertical line keeping our back straight. All right, Coinbase. I'm sorry. Coinbase are defending the industry, but there's a reason, friends. Go back to my earlier tweets. I call them cuckbase. Okay, I know it's very controversial to call them cuckbaits right now because they're, they're defending us against the SEC, but I'm telling you, they're going to get tainted one day, friends. They're going to get injected with a poison doo-doo head. A dingleberry is going to come inside and just infect the whole room and the all officers there, and they're going to get very smelly. And not enough wipes are going to be able to wipe them clean because that's what's going to happen, friends. The government's going to come in. The insiders, the deep state, they're going to come in. They're going to control Coinbase. Coinbase has all the volume. And they'll be able to get access to the leverage. And you understand, you're thinking like, wh wh why does this matter? I'll tell you why it matters. If all the volume comes through Cuckbase and you control the accounts because you control them, well, your futures account can be given collateral from USDC that they print. Let me go through it with you again, okay? So you have your USD printer money, okay? You have your fake, your fake poo poo money. I'll just do a little printer here, okay? Now, the government, what they'll do is they can send it to Cuckbase. Here's the seed. Send it to Cuckbase. And what Cuckbase can do, because they control Cuckbase, okay? His little puppet strings, okay? His little puppet strings to show you. Cuckbase will then go in their future section. Futures, what is it, friends? It's leverage. It's big leverage, right? So the Cuckbase futures, right? This is the BTC part. What they'll be able to do is they can send, for example, like $100 million in of USD that they printed... From the printer, it's fake money, monopoly money. It made its way all the way to the futures account, $100 million. But guess what? They can now control $1 billion, all right? And that's funny. They printed it out of nothing. So now Cuckbase has given them access to short a billion dollars of Bitcoin that they don't have because it's the tail wagging the dog. Coinbase leads all the volume when all the volume comes in because the ETF is going to go through there. All right. Now, I'm not going to speak too much about this because I don't want to end up uh, <laughs> in a coffin too early, friends. Don't worry. This is what's happening. How, look, I'm in a dusty room. All right. You've heard my chair, friends. You've heard my chair. It squeaks. It squeaks all day and night. All right. If I can figure this out, and by the way, I'm not even figuring it out. I know this happens. All right. If I can figure this out for you, you think these people don't figure it out? They have the whole multiple, they have $30 trillion economy and all the UFO tech and all the weird, you know, BlackRock type of stuff going on in the shadows. Of course, they're going to defend the US dollar sanctity. It makes so much sense. And I even have this clip here to show you. Don't forget, friends, we are in the then they fight you phase. They're going to be, we're going to be fight, 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 okay? It's going to be fighting, which means we're probably not going to have the scenario that we all hope and dream of, okay? Look at this. This Abu Dhabi investor, he revealed, okay, he's, he's an insider, okay, he revealed, he just says these weird words, all right, a few years ago, he says, Bitcoin's not a real store of wealth, it's not a good emergency store of wealth, because the government can just switch off the internet, just that, you know, when these people speak, they're not stupid, all right, Mr. Lipton, okay, Lipton T, Lipton is nice, but this guy, eh, he probably reptile, cuck dude, all right, these types of people, sometimes they let words slip, don't think they're stupid. They're not stupid. It's they've been sitting around those round tables. They're doing the weird stuff with the young boys in Saudi Arabia and all the other weird like child abuse stuff that they're doing. They probably like draw each other's blood. All the other weird stuff that these weird globalists do, friends, they're trying to transcend reality. That's what these people do. They talk around these. Just like how all of us are talking about fluffy slippers and Bitcoin and mooning and stuff. Yes, the vernacular and the words they speak about, this is the type of stuff they go through. Okay. So this is what he actually spoke about here. Okay. So you know this guy. Make no mistake, Bitcoin is not a source of wealth of the last resort because if god forbids and it comes to this point the internet itself would be uh, in, in great danger right ha 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 well 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 look at this guy okay this guy is a big fat 
Evil Overlord Poopy Face. And you know, friends, normally I draw a smiley face, but I'm actually going to do these little angry eyebrows. I'm a big fat poopy head, okay? This, they let it slip up, okay? So, yeah, you're going to have to think about something like that, friends. Remember, then they fight you. We're in, then they fight you, okay? First they ignored. It was Satoshi, imaginary money. Then they laughed. John McAfee going to eat his willy. Now we're in, then they fight you. Of course, we win at the end because there's just too many poor people. And the rich people can't do everything, right? Because now they need poor people. But we're in the then they fight your face. So you see, when we pay attention to these, if I heard this like six years ago, I'm like, yeah, screw it. But now, okay, it's a different context. You want to look at it in the context. And so even Mr. Sojourner has, has said, surely that could happen, but you'd be turning off the economy. How long could that sustain? And then Mr. Wales only saying, done told you. Okay, that's what these people are here to do, friends. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, like, they have these rumors of these weird texts that they can cause earthquakes, they can cause fires, who knows, cause a fake solar flare, all these, anything can happen, friends, okay? They're defending the US dollar sanctity, all right? It's it's literally our backs against the wall. But hey, we are winning, it's just going to take some time. And the final mysterious video I'd like to share with you, I mean, weird stuff's been happening, friends. Do you remember that girl? You remember this girl, right? This girl, that mother effer is not real. Yeah, well, we all think, right, she saw a reptilian dude, right? And which is kind of crazy. I'm like, reptilian dudes? South Park made a joke of you many years ago. I remember that episode. I'm like, nah, this is too far-fetched because I was too young. I'm like, nah, it's probably fake. Didn't know these reptilian dudes have been appearing in so many religious texts all around the world. Reptilian dudes, right? But this is where it gets a bit spooky because now... There's been another one, friends. This dude. This dude, friends. Look what they do to him on the plane. Let's actually show you about the back. Look at him. Look at him. Next to him, he tried to exit the plane while still in the air. He's losing his mind. Look at everyone filming, man. What's wrong? Look now, I don't know if it's really reptilian, dude, but. A lot of this stuff happening, it's very strange. Because, hey, man, we've all had the internet for so long, friends. We've had the internet for so long. How come this is all just starting to come out now? Weird. You got weird Malaysia flight disappearance. You got these weird UFO leaks. You got the whole Congress thing. Alien, alien, alien. A lot of this stuff's coming out all at once. Don't forget, friends. Okay, I have to be very sensitive with what I say now. Because I don't want to get shadow banned. But you know this dude, right? Sir Alexander Jonez, okay? Alexander Jonez, do you remember that a significant event in the US of A, right? Otherwise known as September 11th. Do you remember when some, you know, I have to use another word, some tree houses, tree houses fell? Yes. Well, Alexander Jonez successfully predicted in July of that year that it was going to happen. And he even correctly predicted the families who were involved and he could see it. And in his interviews, friends, listen to his interviews, because I'm thinking like, nah, is this guy nutter? Is this, he sounds like really nutty, right? Nope, no, he's not. They actually asked him, they said, hey, man, how did you know it was happening? And what he said was, he basically did what I do, friends. So it's him sitting here. This is pre, pre like massive type of internet, right? So it's him sitting here. So A for Alexander Jones, right? AJ. And then he could see all these news events simultaneously appearing one by one, okay? They started talking about Islam and the terrorists and they're going to take over the right. And they all started saying the same messages. And he could see the programming, he could see the programming, right? And then he's like, oh, my God, I know what they're going to do. And then he successfully predicted it. Now, I don't want to speak. I can't speak more about more more about it, friends, because they literally are. They, to go more deeper into the topic, when you start going specifically, it is actually shadow banned kaboot for any channel, right? But now you know what's going on. So when he did this, I'm thinking, well, well if that's how they do it, I wonder how they did it back then. Okay, they're probably doing it now. But now we can see we're on the internet all day. It's obvious when it starts appearing. So just keep your eyes open for these friends because... Look, at the end of the day, whether it's all real or not, I just want I want us to have the chance to change our life, to at least try to escape the matrix, the rat race. And because we've identified then they fight you phase, and because we identify something's going on here, I want you to know that, okay, 
All my life, since I was a wee little pup, I've always been told these people are lunatics. And they always say, what's they always say? Occam's razor. They always go, oh, no, they're the most, the most likely scenario is that people are stupid. I go, okay, well, let me tell you that. How come all I've heard is that government and people are stupid, yet they're always grabbing more power every four years for the past century? The past 100 years, how do they always grab more power? Are we stupid? No, they're smart. They know what they're doing. So wh- wh- why, do, why is this even really important at the end of the day? It's because when we get to euphoria, I don't care what Bitcoin's price is. It could be 80000 could be 180000 I just want you to know, no matter how good it looks, the evil overlords, they can and they do work together to try to squash competition. And they're very meticulous with how they do it. And it does come, but it takes time. The boat that turns that they're driving, it takes a while for it to turn, right? Just like how it took a while for it to turn off the bottom. So... Never underestimate these people, friends, because we don't want to be caught on the same side of the boat as everybody else because, you know, we're going to say, hey, the Titanic's chipping around and it's going to be hitting the iceberg and we're going to know, okay, that the, the time to be worried about that iceberg is not when the iceberg's actually hit, okay? It's when you look around left and right, you go, oh my gosh, everybody is partying naked. I can see all the underwear. They're not even wearing socks. Like, subscribe, but Bob Norman, catch you in the next one.